Well, hello everybody, it's Emily from Emulu Arts, and today I am going to winterify my traveler's notebook. So stick around, it's going to be super fun. It had a bunch of summer, kind of springy looking stuff in there, and I thought it was time to do a little seasonal change. So all of the bits and pieces that I'm going to use for this are from the Simple Stories line called Freezing Season. I think it's 2018, like this current winter, but uh, there's no saying that it might have been last winter. I'm not exactly sure. I think it's current though. Um, I just got it on scrapbook.com, so it's still available. And this was the um, collector's edition pack. So you got the die cuts and the... Um, like chipboard pieces and then a couple pieces of scrapbook paper. So first I used that same uh, little square of kind of laminate that I had before where I had wrapped a couple pieces of washi tape and I just flipped it to the open side and wa uh, I wrapped a couple coordinating pieces of washi that were sort of wintry that matched this theme and then just put it in upside down so um, that I have washi on the go. Um, I pulled off the die cut that I had put on top of my little sticky notes and I'm putting double-sided tape and I'm going to put a new die cut on there and I don't know what it is with this set you guys. I I went crazy. I went off the deep end. I loved it and you know I think it's because um, it, well, it's just so cute. It's so cute and if you're not a cutesy person then obviously you you will hate this. It's very extra. Like everything I do in here is very extra. So uh, that's understandably not a lot of people's style but you know and there's nothing saying that in two weeks it won't be my style anymore because you all know how I am. So but for right now I'm loving it. Absolutely loving it. So uh, I just, I'm using the die cut on the top and I really like that because I, it's a cute way to decorate those little um, post-it notes and I do use those quite frequently for like future stuff planning. Um, and then I use that little die cut and put double-sided tape on the back of that little tree because it kind of keeps my, um, the post-it notes in place. It makes it so that it doesn't flap up the little cardboard piece. And let's see, I should have put, I should have put a um, rubber band around all my pages because they kept flapping forward in my way, but I was too excited. I just, I just kept plowing forward. Um, this double-sided tape is from uh, Joann's. It's from that little clearance bin. It's a little skinny st tape. Sometimes they have the thick, the thicker uh, version that's probably like half an inch. This is like um, probably a millimeter or no, probably more, two a centimeter no probably not that much <laughs> so profesh I don't know it's a measurement numbers I took this little uh die cut it's a little snow globe and oh my gosh I I can't and these little flag uh flag stickers I got at an office supply store a long time ago and I just have been putting double-sided tape on them or you could use uh glue or whatever and I stick the die cut to them, and then boom, you have a really cute paper clip that's reusable. So, oh, I just, I love it. That little pink piece of paper behind that strip of washi holder that I have, it was just a scrap that I had laying around from, I think, my last project where I made the bookmarks or something. So, um, I just stuck a, a little sticker to it and then put it in the pocket, um, this whole idea of decorating your pockets like this, I I got from the Hooting Pirate, Kara at the Hooting Pirate, and um, previous to this, I never thought of pockets this way. I thought they had to be, like, just functional things. You put, like, you know, business cards or whatever in, and so I never really used them because I'm, I'm not someone that has business cards of people or anything, so they just kind of went unused, really. Um, but she decorates them and just puts fun things that she likes to look at in and changes them up seasonally. And, uh, it was a new concept to me and I went, I went with it. I absolutely love it. And the cool thing is 
it's it doesn't add a whole lot of bulk to your planner. It looks like it does, but it really doesn't. It's when you um, put the 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 elastic around your traveler's notebook, it's no wider than it would be if there was nothing in the pockets, I don't think. And if the good thing is, if you do have like a business card or something, those pockets are still functional. You can still slip things in the pockets. The pockets are just super cute now. Um, so this set came with the, the chipboard pieces and then there's like thicker sort of chipboardy type well, they're not chipboard type stickers, but they're thicker than normal stickers. They're like really nice quality. And then uh, die cuts, which I haven't used any. I'm saving those for probably a, our winter uh, Girl Scout Daisy activity to scrapbook that. I'm going to use, I think, for that project. And there was so much stuff that I had a ton extra. And then these, um, the stickers, I stick them on the leather. Now, this is the Carpe Diem... Um, planners traveler's notebook and it's like a like a faux it's like pleathery you know or whatever plastic so the tape and the stickers they they will come off of it like it will stick to them but they peel right off and it doesn't ruin anything it's not like classy leather <laughs> so um you know there's a time and a place for that and as you can see this is this is not the time for play <laughs> for classy leather right now this is the time for um just cutesy things so um i'm just picking a piece of the scrapbook paper to stick in that back pocket and it serves as an extra piece of paper like that i if i had to write like a grocery list and i wanted to take it in with me or a shopping list or you know whatever something that i had these little pieces of paper i could take notes on and i thought that one with the polar bear was so cute but until i use them they serve as just cute little um you know backgrounds in there and there's my back cover and i did film myself doing it but somehow my camera messed it all up and I also put in my mild liners in my pen to show you that you can use that as a place to store those and put your elastic around like normal. It keeps them really sturdy and safe in there and it makes it really travel friendly. I'm loving this new winter feeling of my traveler's notebook and it's making me excited for the snow and the cold, which I need this time of the year. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.